where was Zach then? Why wasn't Zach like in singing along and everything? Well, from what what Kenny told us when we were on the call was that at that time when we spoke to when when we spoke to Kenny, they hadn't gotten in touch with Zach yet. He was and just MIA or time- somewhere. Yeah, and you know, I've done the same thing, so I get it. Like literally a month ago, I was in Kenya, and based on like time differences and everything, like I, the last I heard, I think he's doing a show called Killing Zac Efron. I personally thought it was really cool that he was able to come in at the last minute and just do something. I know, like, like to it means so much to the fans to see him and to know that we are in it together. It was very involved what we had to do, like. We did it. I was on that call all day long. Like we, yeah. we did our part, and then we were filming all day. So if I don't, I like I said, I don't really know. But if his Wi-Fi wasn't strong, like or wherever he, I don't like yeah, literally yeah, yeah, don't yeah. know where he is in the world. Like last yes. I saw, he's like Papua New Guinea. Fishing, of course, no, because like, no fans jumping. like. It was funny. I, I, when I was going through Twitter and everything like that, fans were like, oh, my God, Like, why didn't he just like film something on his phone and send it in and be part of the sing-along somehow? So it's like the reunion reunion like, that you're talking about. But did you see about. the quality of the video, though? It was like fuzzy. It's hard because it's like we build up these platforms and people you know, have an expectation, but you ha- also have a real life. And Zach, to me, is still one of the realest people that I've known, and he's always been very grounded and more concerned with like, being a person than being a celebrity. And I respect that. 